This is an introduction to function notation. Before we start actually talking about functions, we're going to talk about uh, relations. And a relation is a relationship between two different sets of values. A relation is a relationship. I know it's silly to define relation using the word relationship, but that's just how it goes. A relationship between two sets of values. And when we're talking about these values, uh, most commonly we do use X and Y. We consider X to be what are called the inputs, what we put into the relation. So usually the X values are the inputs and the Y values are the outputs. So we could have a uh, relation, we could say that uh, y is equal to 2x, in which case whatever we plug in for x, if x is equal to 1, then y is 2. If x is equal to 3, then y is 6. And so on and so on. So that would be a relation, just kind of, that would be one way of describing it would be to use an equation. In another video we're going to talk about the different ways that we can write relations and functions. Okay, so the next, what is the relationship between a relation and a function? So a function is a special type of relation. So it, it is in the relation family. Um, a function is a relation uh, in which every input, remember input that's usually when we use x, every input has exactly one output. Has exactly one output. And let's talk about this. This can be a little bit confusing. Okay, so every input has exactly one output. So the example I gave, I said y is equal to 2x. This particular relation would in fact be a function because no matter what I plug in for x, I'm only going to get one single y value. If I plug in 7 for x, I can only get 14. I don't get 14 and negative 6. So that's what it means to be a function. I, pl I could plug in for x and I only get one y value uh, as an output. An example, just so we can see for comparison's sake, a relation that's not a function. Um, so this one is a function. If we want to look at a relation that's not a function, we could look at uh, y squared equals x. Because x is still my input, but if I plug in 4 for x, y could be 2, since uh, 2 squared is equal to 4, or y could be negative 2, because negative 2 quantity squared is equal to 4. So this would be an example that's not a function, where I plug in uh, one number for my input, and I get two outputs in return. And then lastly, oops, I've got a question mark here. Uh, what does it mean if a function is one to one? So when I described the function, I said that every input has exactly one output. For it to be one to one, then that means that also every output has exactly one input. So a function is one to one, uh, let's just say if every output has exactly one input. And so now both have to be true. So both uh, every input has exactly one output, and every output has exactly one input. Just to show you an example between the difference between a function that is one-to-one -one and one that's not, one that is one-to-one, -one, the notation for one-to-one, because one-to-one is obviously too many letters, we do one colon one, and we read this one-to-one. -one. So one that is one-to-one, -one, an example, uh, could be y equals 4x. So y equals 4x is one-to-one. -one because no matter what value I plug in for x, I'm always going to have a unique y. And also, for any y value, there is only exactly one unique x. Right? So if, if y is, uh, let's do something nice here, 36, x can only be 9. It's not 9 and negative 9, or 9 and 0, or something like that. An example of a function that is not 1 to 1 would be something like y equals x squared. Because while it is a function, no matter what I plug in for x, I can only get one y value, the reverse is not true. There is a, a number I can plug in for y. In fact, most numbers I plug in for y, there are two 
possible x values, such as if y is equal to 9. If y is equal to 9, then x would be 3, but x would also be negative 3. So therefore, this is not 1 to 1.